look at their faces. Faces of loss. Homes, villages, even countries lost. Their harrowing stories are of fear and flight and courage. In 2015, 3.2 million were seeking asylum, the highest number in history. There were 21.3 million refugees, the highest number since the 1990s. And 40.8 million were displaced in their own country, the highest number ever. A total of 65.3 million people. Forced displacement has doubled in less than 20 years. From 33.9 million to more than 60 million people forced from homes, driven to flee. This is their testimony. Increasingly, this affects each one of us. In 2015, one of every 113 people on the planet was either seeking asylum, internally displaced, or a refugee. Every minute, 24 people were newly displaced in the world. That's a population greater than all of France. Most were found in the Middle East and then Africa. Europe had the smallest number, and that included Ukraine and Turkey. One of every 113 in the world. That is a crisis. Дедушка прошел великую отечественную войну. Разве он знал, что такое будет? It is not Syria. It is not Syria. It is, I think, it is a kind of film. My mother was shot during that crisis. And my father has left us to come here and he went back. We don't know why he's not. Global displacement is higher than ever. The main highlight is that we have an almost 10% increase of uh, people on the move, refugees, displaced people, asylum seekers from last year. This is not good. And uh, we should not forget, 90% of those people are not in the rich world. They are in developing countries, in middle-income, poor countries. But it is the magnitude that strikes the most. Most of the world's refugees come from three countries, Syria, Afghanistan, and Somalia. The highest number of internally displaced are in Colombia, Syria, and Iraq. In 2015, 51% of all refugees were children, and almost 100,000, 98,400 exactly, were alone, unaccompanied or separated from their families. Those who flee bombs and terror find their suffering isn't over. Hundreds have died in dangerous sea crossings organized by illegal smugglers. And thousands more are blocked far from their goal, and many are simply pushed back. Instead of developing better asylum systems that are hospitable, that recognize the hardship and the difficulties and the reasons for people to flee, barriers are erected. And the barriers need not be physical. Sometimes they are legislative barriers. We see this in Europe. We see the lowering of the threshold in the quality of asylum law. The numbers increase alarmingly. The numbers are people, individuals torn from peaceful lives, driven into danger and exile. Sympathy is not enough. Money is not enough. Action, bold action, is needed to deal with a crisis spanning the world.